Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of our VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we're going to be featuring a team. It's kind of the end of a little mini-series with these hidden ability starters. We're going to be featuring a team based around Inteleon. Sniper Inteleon, the one Pokemon that we haven't actually featured yet on the channel. So, um, Sniper obviously boosts the uh, the damage output of critical hits. When they do hit, they're normally 1.5 times the damage, but with Sniper, they are two times the damage. So, increasing that damage output if you land a critical hit. And to make things even better, we're playing Focus Energy Inteleon. Supporting cast, as you can see, is gonna be Indeedee. Then we've got Dracovish to to help out and clean things up if we can get the rain set up after hopefully dynamaxing with Inteleon. Uh, we've got Ferrothorn, gives us a little bit of a, a Pokemon that we can utilize against Trick Room stuff. Uh, Arcanine with the Choice Band, Intimidate, and then we've got Bravery as well as a kind of secondary speed control outside of our Inteleon. So, um, yeah, without further ado, let's lock in. As always, there will be a rental team at the end of this episode. There will be a poker paste down in the description for you guys that want to try it out on Showdown or anything like that. And as I always say, if you do try the team out, do let me know what your thoughts are on the team. If you've had a lot of fun with it, success with it, or if it's just inspired anything of your own builds. And um, we're getting very close to the DLC being released now. So it's kind of a little bit of time to have fun in the format before the DLC drops and we probably get some new format rules and regulations with all those new Pokemon that are getting um, introduced with the Isle of Armor. So we've got our first opponent of the episode, Tyan, or Tien, however pronouncing it, playing Togekiss, Cinderace, Melotic, Rillaboom, uh, Dragapult, and Mimikyu. So we've got two, <laughs> two of the other uh, new starters. We need to be a bit careful around Rillaboom, but I think I'm I'm pretty happy leading uh, Inteleon and Indeedee here. Uh, what do we want in the back though? Um, Ferrothorn has a really good time. If we can get rid of the Cinderace, like, oh, you've got to be careful around the Togekiss, potentially, with um, with Heatwave or Flamethrower. Other than that, though, um, do we just go Fish? Do we just go Fish? Fish and Ferrothorn. <laughs> I mean, we could do. Uh, we've got to take care of the, the Dragapult as well. Um, mm, we could go Bird. We could go Bird. Bird would support Draco Dracovish a lot better. Um, yeah, I'm going to go Bird. Let's go Bravery. Okay, let's lock in. And as always, my friends, if you do enjoy this sort of content, please drop a like on the video. It does really help out the, the video, the channel. And if you're new to the channel, do subscribe for more of this sort of content more guides, which we'll have a bunch of coming for the Isle of Armor, news updates and everything to do with Pokemon. Um, I try and do as much content as I can, obviously still working full time, even though the lockdown is going on. Um, but uh, it will be a lot more content, obviously when the Isle of Armor drops because of uh, all the new goodies that we're gonna have to play around with. Okay, so we do have Rillaboom and uh, Dragapult coming out for my opponent. Um, hmm. Makes it a little difficult, you know, that the, the the fake out here uh, is going to be present with the Rillaboom uh, with that grassy terrain overwriting our psychic terrain. And Rillaboom does get access to that. Um, I'm still going to go for focus energy though. And I, I am going to go for the follow me. Problem is, I guess the problem is if we do see my opponent go just attack into Inteleon. Um, they could fake out in DD, which is like the, the, the obvious thing to do here. Isn't it? Uh, we could bring in the bird. Keep Intelli on for later. Um, we could just go for it. We could just go for it. I mean, Intelli on, I don't think... Int and we got the focus, Ash. So we're, we're kind of all right. We'll go for it. We'll go for it. Dragapult probably going to max here. Go for Airstream. And if we don't see the fake up from the Rillaboom... I'd imagine we see a grass type attack into Indeedee. Okay, so there's the Dragapult making its way onto the field, maxing. Okay, well, let's see what my opponent does here. Fake out into Indeedee, yeah. And. Ooh, we actually outspeed the Dragapult. It's definitely going from Airstream. It's definitely going for Airstream here. Yeah just to get the jump on us this next turn. Yep, 
Okay. Well, you've got to follow me. So, you've got to hope that we can... Well, we should be able to get the Rillaboom, right? And I think my opponent's kind of forced to go for Airstream again, which indeed he should take, and then the Rillaboom will have to kind of pick up the knockout with. So we will max. The Airstream will 100% get Rillaboom here, and we can go for that follow me. Okay. Start getting these crits. I don't... Like, the thing is with that Dragapult being a lot slower, it, and the Mimikyu being present on my opponent's team, it's definitely got weakness policy. So we need to try and uh, and wait out uh, the Dragapult um, maxing. To, to go for the, the max darkness or dark pulse into it. So that's one thing we're going to have to try and, and do. Uh, but we know if we get the jump on it with one airstream, and it's likely that uh, we will be able to, to get a crit onto it when it doesn't, when it's not max anymore. So max wormwind. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's super fine. Because indeed he gets to stick around a little bit longer. By some chance, if Rillaboom doesn't outspeed, I don't think it, like, I, I, I think it definitely will. Although it could be a very slow Rillaboom. And it is a very slow Rillaboom. Unless it's got a Sash, it's going down. Down, down. Okay, okay. This is perfect. So we get rid of the Rillaboom. There's the crit, the first one. <laughs> Everyone is a crit. Everyone's a winner. So the Grassy Terrain actually helping Inteleon out as well. Um... And they've got to go for another airstream this next turn. And I think we do as well if we want to keep pace with the Dragapult. To put ourselves in a chance. It depends what comes out as a partner next to it. Um, but it might be Togekiss. Might be Mimikyu. Maybe. Oh, it is Togekiss. Okay. We could max guard here. But then we're allowing my opponent to... Well, we could max guard. This is the thing. We could max guard... And then we don't follow me. They think we're going to follow me. And we just go Mystical Fire into the Togekiss. Or we could just Psychic into the drag Dragapult. Mm. What's going to be better? Like, generally? Or do we just go for the attack into... Do we just follow me? I think we just follow me again. And go Airstream into the Togekiss here. I think it'd probably be be better because then like if we don't do this now we've got to contend with um the, the redirection from my opponent's side of the field forever more really haven't we and even though we don't see uh follow me coming out this turn oh it's very close to picking up the knockout there another critical hit um dragapult hopefully we can take an attack from the torquis that's like what we need to do uh airstream coming out yeah they're trying to match our airstream but we do keep ahead of them just about uh togo kiss hmm i think dracovish will still out oh, it depends what the speed of the togo kiss is oh come on oh <laughs> oh the irony in them critting us is painful to watch okay well it's yeah it's 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 uh, okay, well, no, it's not. It's fine. It's... Uh, 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 no, Dragon Darts will get. Will it? Will it? Will it? Will it? I don't know. I don't know. Depends. It depends. It really does depend whether or not... Um, Dracovish outspeeds Togekiss or not. Because we can Tailwind here for sure. Um, and Ficious Rend. So if we get the jump on Togekiss here. Oh, Phantom Force. That's even better. Come on, if we can just get the Togekiss, this is great for us. We can. Okay, right. And what we need, what we need is the last Pokemon to be Cinderace. And then, and then we can just shut this thing down. Um, obviously, the Phantom Force is going to be a bit of an issue this next turn. But then if we can get rid of something now coming in. Onto the field right now. If it's Cinderace and we can get rid of it. <laughs> it is. Okay. We can do this. We can do this. We can still do this. Then we can double the Dragapult the next turn. Um, we'll go for a Brave Bird. Uh, and we... Well, we have to Ficious Rend. Has it got Protect? You would imagine Cinderace probably does. Um, ooh, it's got Sucker Punch. Okay. Ooh, it's into... Uh, okay. 
well, we know we get rid of the Cinderace now. I don't think Phantom Force will actually... Wow. Okay. That's a bit nasty. That's a bit nasty. I would have expected us to... I... But, uh, well, it's, a, it's not the worst. It's not the worst thing. Because we get the Brave Bird there. And now we can double up into the, the Dragapult. Knowing that the tail winds up, we do outspeed it. Um, and hopefully that should be enough for us to pick up the knockout onto it. <sighs> Although it is very bulky, of course. It is very bulky. I think the Dragapult has to go Dragon Darts. Which... Do we, do we, do we survive with bravery after the recoil? I'm not 100% sure. I'm just going to hope that this is enough. I'm not convinced that it, it will be, but we'll see. We'll soon find out. Come on, fish, show your worth. That's a good amount of damage. Come on, come on, brave bit. Oh, we don't even have speed. Dragapult after the tailwind. Oh, Dragonfish survives. And bravery survives. Okay, we can do this. As long as that... Dragapult hasn't got. Ah, <laughs> oh, the bird does it. Here we go. Here we go. That is what we're talking about, friends. Pick up a win. Two Pokemon remaining. The fish and the bird coming through for us. To pick that one up at the last minute. Okay. And Inteleon did some work there. It got, got those guaranteed crits like we wanted. Paved the way for us. Got rid of the Rillaboom. Set the speed. Went down to a crit. Um, but yeah, we got that. I'm super happy with that win and it's a nice way for us to kick off us playing this team. I do really love Inteleon. I think it's one of those Pokemon that I I, I always overlook. Um, I'm never the biggest fan of like real glass cannon type Pokemon that are very fragile defensively, but very good speed wise and offensive. I, I always kind of tend to overlook those Pokemon, but when like whenever I play Inteleon and especially the season when I've been playing Inteleon, I do really love it. Uh, the focus energy is uh, is definitely a little bit gimmicky, of course, but uh, generally, even without that, it's still a very good Pokemon. Okay, so we got our next opponent in the episode, and they are playing a team of Rillaboom, one another potential hidden ability starter Pokemon there, um, and played alongside the Slurpuff with the Unburden. So you've got to assume it is going to be hidden ability, Grassy Surge, Rillaboom with Unburden, Slurpuff. Uh, then we've got a Rain Call, uh, which is very interesting with the um, Pelipper, uh, Seismitoad, Betic, and Ludicolo, all the Swift Swim users in the world. Okay. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that makes things a little bit awkward for us. Um, do we go down the route of focus energy or not? Um, I definitely want to bring... I think I definitely want... Tailwind. The thing is, if we get Tailwind up and the rain's up and we can get Dracovish onto the field, it's literally going to knock out everything. That's basically... That's basically going to happen. I think the only thing that I worry about if I lead with Inteleon is uh, the Ludicolo. Um, so, I'm going to... Do we do it? Do we do it? Just get it off and then go Brave, Big Bird, and then Dracovish. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because the redirection helps us out. Um, and depending on the speed of the Rillaboom, we might be able to just get our Psychic Terrain up. Um, but at the very least, it gives us a good indicator of uh, how fast that Rillaboom is in, in relation to everything else. If we can get our um, in a, uh, Focus Energy off, then even if the Rillaboom maxes, we should be able to pick up the Knockout onto it the next turn. So it's a shiny Rillaboom. Very nice, very nice. Especially if it's got the hidden ability. It's kind of cool. It's got that like kind of green tinge looking color. It's going to be slower than... Um, that's interesting. Very interesting. It's going to be slower than our Indeedy. Now what is Slurpuff going to do? I know Slurpuff doesn't have access to Belly Drum anymore. Um, which is very interesting. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go follow me. I'm going to go for the focus energy like we planned. Fake out. Yeah, indeedy. And what are we going to see the Slurpuff do? Yawn. No. 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 <laughs> I don't think I've got anything to kind of get around the uh, the terrain either. Okay, the focus energy, it's a completely wasted turn now. Um, hmm. 
Yeah, I don't have a way to change the terrain in our advantage to get around the Yawn, unfortunately. And even if I safeguard now, that's the problem. Like, I could max... <sighs> stream safeguard. I think safeguard doesn't... I don't think safeguard blocks Yawn after you've been Yawned. I still think... I think it blocks any status coming on to you. Um, so I don't really want to kind of sit on the field and have to deal with that. Uh, so I could Mystic Fire. I'm going to safeguard anyway with Indeedy. And bring in the bird. We'll try and get the focus energy off a little bit later. The yawn is the one thing that kind of stops us in our tracks a little bit. But that's why it's a good option to have. Uh, there's a light screen. Uh, safeguard. We'll get that up. Knock off into D. Okay, that's fine. Knocks off our safety goggles. Uh, but we're sitting in not a bad spot now because we can go for um, Tailwind. And do we just go for... Hmm. It's a Psychic. I mean, we could switch out. Indeed, I feel like we're probably better off just going follow me though, and just taking, just protecting our bird, allowing it to get the uh, the tailwind up, support the rest of our team. We might have to just go Dynamax with our bird here rather than Intellion. Um, okay, after you it does fail, that's a nice option on Slurpuff, isn't it? Uh, there's another knockoff. This will probably take us down. Nope, we actually, okay, so we do survive. Indeed, he pulling through, like, doing a lot of work here for us. Um, I'm just going to Brave Bird. I don't even think I need to do anything. I don't want to Dynamax, because I kind of still want to have Inteleon focus energy. It's what this this episode's all about. So I want to focus energy and get these crits going. So I don't re. I want to kind of hold off. Dynamaxing the bird and you know, you don't want to Dynamax before your opponent in most situations unless it's going to get you a really clear Kind of a big advantage and right now it doesn't feel like it's going to when we can just pretty much comfortably pick up the knockout onto Rillaboom anyway Okay, and follow me again. Just stop on that after you if it does come out again from the Slurpuff um, Might not even get the chance to use it as we do pick up oh Take the Rillaboom down to its sash. Take a bunch of recoil damage there. And round coming out. We're going to see double round. We're going to see from the Rillaboom. Knock off, probably. Leech Seed. Okay. Okay. That's fine. But we're pretty safe to get Inteleon in now. And go for... Our, because we can Brave Bird into the Rillaboom. And we, can, we know we're faster than it. Um, I don't think Rillaboom's got Protect. And we can get a Focus Energy off. We're forcing this so, so much. And we don't need to worry about the Yawn so much now. We've got the Safeguard set up. So let's see if we can get rid of this Rillaboom and get our Focus, focus Energy off. Not too worried if round is the only thing that this Slurpuff has got. I'm assuming that something else on the team has got round. Uh, so I can, I can kind of use it with that. Uh, where round works is if you use it with one Pokemon and your partner in Pokemon uses it. And no matter what the speed is, it goes straight after the Pokemon that used it initially. Uh, okay, so there's a Brave Bird. We get rid of the Rillaboom, which is great news for us. We get the Focus Energy uh, with our Inteleon. We've still got one turn of Tailwind left. And... What is this Slurpuff going to do? It's going for another round. Just chipping our Brave Bird down. Okay. Now we can max. Potentially. Pick, start sweeping. This is what we want. Okay. Bear tick. Here we go. Big old bear. Big old bear. Um, Can we get it with Snipe? Uh, with Max? Do we just double it? Do we just double it? I think we just double it. Yeah, and just get get Max Geyser going, I think. Yeah. Yeah, let's just do it. Slurpuff going to switch out. This going to be... 
Okay, we're going to see Swift Swim, but unfortunately we do have a Tailwind up, so I don't think Bear Tick is that fast. Well, it's definitely not that fast. Uh, Swift Swim uh, isn't going to beat our Tailwind. It doesn't outspeed the bird. I don't think its bear speed's that great. Maybe 70, maybe below. I want to say below, but it's not the fastest Swift Swim user. I think a bird will outspeed it, and definitely a critical hit. Max Geyser in the rain is probably going to be enough to get the, the Bear Tick, I would assume. So here we go. Let the crit games begin. There's crit number one. Come on, be a crit. <laughs> There's crit number one. Okay, bear tick down. Bear tick gone. Bad bear tick. Brave bird. And the slow puff's lost its boost as well. Uh, so yeah, we're going to be able to clean this one up pretty easy. The the light screen wearing off. Obviously with a crit as well, it kind of ignores the screen. So that's the one of the one of the, the beauties about a critical hit it knows all all things like that um okay we're not gonna get to see the fish are we we're not gonna get to see the fish i wanted to see the fish okay we'll go for brave bird into pelipper um another max geyser into slurpuff which will be more than enough to pick up the knockout even without the crits They've denied us the crits though, but that is going to wrap that one up and let's hop over to our rental team for you guys. Uh, it's a really fun team to play around with. So I hope if you do try it out, I hope you have a lot of success with it and I hope you have a lot of fun with it, my friends. I will duck out of this video for one moment and then you can take a look at the code. And there we go. Let's dodge out of here a minute from myself. So there's the code 00000813MWYM. So hope you have a lot of fun with the team, my friends. Uh, if you do try it out, as always, do let me know and uh, I will speak to you all very soon. Thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, as always, take care of yourselves and I'll be Osiris signing out. So until next time, take care and bye bye.